said in the previous uh, video lectures that the power is the scalar product between the force and the velocity and that the efficiency is equal to the output power over the power input there are going to be some losses in powers and it's also equal to the energy output over energy input because uh, uh, if they are occurring at the same time which is always the case now guys I need to solve this problem using these equations. This is a very easy problem, all right? So what I have, I have a two megagrams. Megagrams means this is 2,000 kilograms, all right? So 2,000 kilograms car increasing its speed uniformly. What does this mean? Uniformly means A is equal to? A is equal to constant, in fact, yes. All right, so it's uniformly increasing from rest, which means V0 is equal to 0 to 25 meters per second in 30 seconds. So I can from sentence guys predict directly A because I know that V is equal to 80 plus V0 in uniformly accelerated motion, which is our case. So V0 is 0 and V is equal to 25, so I can find a is equal to 25 over 30 seconds, which is about 0 0.8 meters per second squared. So I know the acceleration, in fact. And what's the direction of this acceleration? It has the direction of the motion. So the direction of acceleration, in fact, is not in x. It's in x prime, all right? So this is x prime, OK? And don't forget, guys, that I know this. I can predict this angle because I have the slope here, all right? So 10. This angle alpha is 10 minus 1, 1 over 10, and it's almost equal to 5.7. All right? Now, the question is to determine the maximum power that must be supplied by the engine. So I need to find Pn, all right? I need to find Pn so that this car has a power output P out that is equal to the force of this engine times the velocity. And this is operating at, at, at an efficiency of 0 0.8. So I know the efficiency. I need to find P. First of all, I can find P out because I know that this P out is equal to the force of the engine that is allowing this car to move in x prime dot v. Now, if I put the free body diagram of this engine, all right, I'm going to uh, change the color. The car is in red, so I'm going to take the green. All right, so I know, guys, that the resultant engine force is in this direction. It's in the direction of x prime, so that this car is moving in this direction. I know that I have a weight. I know that I have a normal force that is perpendicular, of course, to the support. So these are the, uh, the free body diagram of this car. So if I apply the sum of forces, in what direction do you think, guys, I have to apply it in x or in x prime? In what direction, guys? What do you think? In x or in x prime? In x prime. Perfect. Papas. Why? Because, in fact, guys, if I want to apply it in x, then you're going to have two components of A. One in x and one in y, right? If, if uh, in other words, A is oblique, it has the direction of x prime. So if you want to find A x, you should find the projection of A in x and then apply uh, uh, the forces in x direction to find the projection of F in x and then to find F. So it's much easier to apply it in x prime because I know A in x prime, all right? So sum of F in x prime, which is the direction of motion, is equal to M A x prime. And this means, guys, what are the forces? I have F. I have the weight in negative direction sine 5.7. And the normal is perpendicular to x prime, so it doesn't have any projection. Any projection, sorry. So this would be equal to m times 0 0.8, so that I can find F. What will be F? F would be, in fact, equal to 3,601. 8.9 newtons. Whenever I know F and I know V, V is equal to 25, I can find what? Then I can find the power out. So the power out is equal to 3.
six one eight point nine times twenty five. Yeah, so it's gonna be guys a very big number. I'm gonna convert it to kilowatt. So it will be one hundred thirteen thousand watt, which means it will be one hundred thirteen kilowatt. And whenever you know P out, then you can find P in because the efficiency is P out that is that is always less than or equal to Pn. In the ideal case, it's equal to Pn. So this is equal to 0 0.8, which means 20% are lost. And this means, guys, that Pn is equal to, which is the question, it's equal to P out over 0 0.8. And then you're going to have a much uh, 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 higher value, which means that this, uh, I'm sorry, guys, this P out is equal to, Uh, 90,000, which means it's 90, and then here you're gonna have that this Pn is equal to 113 kilowatt.